Hey guys, so welcome to my behind the scenes lemonade stand tutorial. So this is my lemonade stand project. Right now it has like 385 views. I'm going to see what's behind the amazingness. So I'm going to press the see inside button and we can see all the code that is behind it. So this is what code looks like in scratch. It's blocks so it looks it's not like typed out code so you drag blocks from over here to here and so the basic selling process is when you click this sprite which is her out in the show screen it'll ask would you like to shop or start selling and here if it says start selling or sell then it'll do the selling procedure which is a function I made and if they say go shopping or shop, then it'll do the shop one. And if they say something that isn't any of those, then they'll say, sorry, I couldn't understand what you said. So over here, this is the function I made. So selling, I use functions to make very important pieces of script that might get messed up shorter so that I can be able to find things easily. So all of this would have been inside the script where she asks you what you want to do, but I made it into a function so it's only one block instead of all of this. So in here it asks you what kind of lemonade you're selling, and it'll change the price. It asks how many cups you want to sell, and it changes the amount of cups that you're going to sell, and if you don't have enough money, you'll have gone bankrupt, and then it goes game over. This is how it calculates how much you have to pay and how much other people have to pay. And depending on the weather, which is cloudy, sunny, rainy, or snowy, it'll say how much out of all of your cups you're going to sell. And then each time one sells, it makes the cha-ching sound that I recorded. And then it adds to your money. So that's the selling procedure one. Let me find the buy. Okay, so shop. It just takes you to the shop, so it switches the backdrop to the shop, and it tells all of these things to hide because you don't want those to be showing up in the shop. And it shows your money, and it hides the variable that's your shop name. So that's the basics of how I coded this game. There's a lot more to it. But you can try and make your own games on Scratch. It's scratch.mit.edu. And make sure you follow me. It's CodyCat123. And you can play this game for yourself. And you can check out all of the other games that I've coded. Bye!